Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a ebook using MacPress, my WordPress plugin. So after installing it, I'll go to ebook creation, which is the first step. And that's where you can choose the template you want to use for your PDF file. So I'll choose two columns A4. The image is already loaded. It will come on the front page. I'll not change any of the customization options. And I will not change the font, even though there's a wide range of fonts to choose from. Then I click Save Changes and go to the next step. On the next step, I'll be able to filter out all the articles I want to include. So I'll go by tag using SEO and click on view. I could also use categories, authors, or date, or combine all of those. And here I have a series of articles I wrote about SEO in 2011. So, PDF name, I'll choose SEO for designers, which was the title of the series. I could change the date here, but I won't do it. Save and go to Content Edition, where I can edit every article. I'll start by changing the order of the articles. By entering a number here in this, well, the three I could avoid doing, but anyway, here it is. Save order. If everything is in the right order, I could publish it, but I will just show you the editing functions. So, for each article, I could choose some of the settings I chose before. I'll not do it here. I'll add a page break, as you could see. And here I show you a bit of editing the title, removing some image and a bit of text. Remove some formatting. As you can see, it's exactly the same editor as the one you used to use in WordPress, so it shouldn't pose any problem to use it there. Save. I could do all the other articles, but I won't waste any time on it for a demo. So I just go to preview your ebook. Which will take us to a in browser preview of the ebook. So it's a bit slow, but that's because I live in China and I have crappy internet. And it's coming. Okay, here it comes. You can see the cover with the image I chose before. It's a 17 pages ebook. You can browse on the pages. Here you can see the table of contents. The first 
first page. And I will not do the whole ebook, but you can see that it's pretty well laid out and quite good. You have a page number at the bottom. So if you're happy with it, you can just go ahead and publish a post about the ebook, which will take you to a custom post format page that you can publish straight on your website or choose to just take the URLs and of the ebook in different formats and just publish it on your website using a regular blog post or page or whatever you want. So, sorry for the slow loading time. That's why you don't come live in China when you're a web designer or web developer. Here it is, the page to add a little comment about your ebook. You have all the ebooks URLs and you can include it in your regular categories if you want. So that's it.